How's it going my beautiful people? Teddy Kevin once again and today we are hopefully, hopefully, hopefully going to finish Fran Bo. Now I hope that with editing I can get the rest of this done. Now I think from what I remember um, we are at the cemetery with Dr. Dearn. Yes, yes we are. Alright, so let's inspect his car real fast and everything um but yeah so pretty much to recap as i uh walk to dr dear pretty much is that um dr dear thinks that there's something fishy in terms of um fran's parents um murder and also he thought that she was dead because of um i guess an obituary in the newspaper so a lot of weird things have been happening and yeah so we're gonna continue the story and hopefully we can finish this today okay uh this is your parents resting place forgive me if i do not remember the voices um i don't think in the last one i had one for him uh this is your parents resting place and also yours why did you bring me here sir i'm sorry friend but things are how they are your parents were killed Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish those, those behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins. Alright, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deadly ones came already. Who? Mm. Anyway... We have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left, you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes right here, alright? Yes, Dr. Dune, I'll see you soon. Okay, so let's... Martin Bow, father. Oh wow, he wasn't that old. Wow. So they were only like four years apart and Fran, Jesus. Okay, so let's explore. All right, so there's nothing one could really click over here except that door. Oh, it's stuck. It must be the shovel storage room, just my luck. Well, there must be a way to open it. You have to keep it down, Fabio. <laughs> oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant! Oh, please don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector. The tribes collector, that sounds exciting. Right now, we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Great. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather, hmm? Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you find the leather. Um, Sebastian. Would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor giantness. I was thinking you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. Alright, giantness? But where will I ever find that, huh? Alright, I'll see what I can do. I think the only place that might have leather might be the car. Yeah, probably the sea. Yep. Okay. Whoops. What a big hole I've made. Well, I have the leather now. Alright, let's give it back to Senor Sebastian. So that we can get this door open with the shovels. Oh. Wow. 
you giant miss, our tribe, the Pinezilas, will be happy. And now we'll open the door just a second. Oh, is he alright? Ouch. Are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? Oh, okay. He's good. <laughs> um, I'm alright, miss. Yes. Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. What the fuck? Shade. Sorry. <laughs> You're welcome, giant miss. Eh. Uh, Fabio. Oh. This dude jumped out the bush. Oh, I have to go, Miss. Good night. Hey, Fog, you wait for me. I have the leather. Okay, so. Great. Nothing in here. That was a fucking waste. There you are, friend. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Okay, let's fucking dig. Let's fucking dig. Let's fucking dig. Let's fucking dig. Let's fuck and dig. Let's fuck and dig. Okay, so we hit the coffins. Okay, uh, well, now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Uh, do you want it back? No need, friend, but you can do the honors of opening the coffins. Alright, sir, I'll open them. Great! Okay. Great. Oh, wow. Papa is missing his eyes. Oh, wow. So they stole her skin, it seems. It's a cat. Hmm. Okay. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this. Seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Friend, I told you your cat was missing. Maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. Alright, friend, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Okay. So, I don't... What the fuck, Remor? Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. God damn it, man. You broken little girl. The house of madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Absolutely batshit crazy. Chapter 5 The House of Madness. The fuck? Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat. Well, you know, he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, 
we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He is my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I changed to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining friend. Don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining friend. Go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate, but the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend. And the door fucking vanishes. We're not in reality, I guess. Oh no, don't leave me here. Aunt Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he is fine, but what should I do now? Tick tock. Crazy sound. It never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or I'm just imagining things, but if it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dearn said that everything is in my head. Oh, what the fuck? And the wind took all the magical dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Oh, sorry. Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you are chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Well, you are. Myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Edward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That's... That means you're broken. Sorry. I'm not broken. Why do you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross the ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, to break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, no, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. I don't know why I sound like fucking Daffy Duck while I'm trying to portray this little young friend. Uh, do you know why we can see these things? Yes. A man named Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me then? Hold on a second. I realized from the book that I got from that toad all the way in the beginning had said Leon. Is that possibly who that book is from? Ooh, I hope so. Oh, and can you tell me then why do we see the things we do? Even though the thing like went away. Uh, what about if I help you unlock the handcuffs? Handcuffs? Handcuffs. First, then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the deaths of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty, you know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between you and me. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. So it happens to be that I am a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh, uh, is that a box? Yes, box of keys. Boy. Yes. Yes, boy. Okay. Let's see. Which key? Uh, let's try this one. A second key. Unlocked, baby. Thank you so much, Franny. <laughs> you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, friend, before I forget. God damn it, Shade. Sorry. It's because I hate when the thing, like. Whatever, let's continue the game. Paul just told me that if we met someday, I should give this to you. 
Here, I think it will help you to open something. Oh, that's probably that box that we got. Palantras, you know him too? Wow, thank you. Yeah, he also told me if... Wrong person. Yes, he also told me if we met, you would be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. What in the fuck is happening? Don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody! Okay. Oh. Okay, so this is all of our stuff. Okay, so this is definitely something I should write down. Uh, I need a piece of papel. Uh, Mabuka, Mabuka, wake up, Mother Mabuka. The horn child is playing with the light. The Velakis is angry and shining bright too. Well, shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give the child before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the ecog clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the light. She cried, me, Mabuka, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. Okay, so these... I guess are all the things that we need in order to build this. Oh, and it's designed by Cogwind. Beautiful. So the man knows what he's doing. Let's check this. I use this mirror to see my beautiful face. That looks like Cheshire. Is that Alice? Yes, of course it is. Beautiful. A wonderful line she was sometimes. Great. All right, so let's see. Like I said, I'm trying to make sure that I don't need anything from here. Okay. Alright, so I'm guessing that's possibly a part of that. Balloons. Getting a whole bunch of stuff now. Oh my. Oh wow. Okay, um, I, that's her house. I don't remember having the door moved. Neither do I, my dear. Oh, that's cute. Where in the fuck am I supposed to go? Maybe I should be combining these two, duh. Or not. Okay, whatever. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh my god, yes. Oh yeah, we have a door. Beautiful. So thank you, Itward, for that. And now, where in the Baluba fuck are we? Okay, so it looks like we have like a whole shit ton of doors to open. Uh, the key doesn't fit. Great. Try that one. Oh, but wow, the one door. Where in the fuck are we? I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. 
He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth, I see. I'll see what I can do to take the key then. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's Den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't? Leave now. Just leave. But Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of darkness. Dark, the darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures of the fifth reality. What? I'm at the fifth reality? I thought Remor was the king here. Ah, Remor the Terrible Black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I have said enough. Alright, I'll be back later. I must get your friend's key. Inside the little house. the fuck is that supposed to mean? Okay, so we got a phone there. Let's keep exploring. Okay! I don't know what the fuck. His heart is beating literally through his chest. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It cannot it can stop all of a sudden. And that would be the end. I don't like thinking about my heart's beat, I just want soap. Soap. Are you having trouble with hygiene? Yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh was rotten all inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you, just let me have the soap for a little while. Alright then, take it. It's all yours. Okay, so we got the soap. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies. Keep the heads. Their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you the flip later. Alright, so let's see what else we're missing. Okay, so we got soap. Piano keys. Oh, which was the clip. Uh, and an empty case. So we need a working bulb, a wake up clock, bottle with water, uh, a glove, and a black wire. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. Could I, could I fill these here? Yes! Beautiful. Okay. So let's turn off the water. Uh, let's go back over here. Uh, well, we can't really go anywhere else, I guess. Back to 101, I guess. Alright, so we got everything for that machine. And it says... Let's build the ECOG clock on the back of the giant cat. Now, the only big-ass cat I see is this one. That's, like, creepy as shit. Oh, okay. Excuse me, I really need a key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I don't talk to strangers. You don't need to talk, just let me get the key. If I choose not to talk to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. How disappointing, I have a question. Are you stuck? I'm firmly attached. Why do you ask? I'm just curious, see you later. Can I use this branch? Fuck! Fuck! 
you. Can I potentially brush a terror? I don't know, a hair comb. What is that? Want to try it? It makes your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know, it's dangerous. It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Ah, let's try it. Alright, just to promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn if I'm in danger. Just be careful and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Ooh, the thing is even creepier when it's orange. Looks like the damn Joker. It worked! What is happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You're a Lucifer and all Luciferns I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Okay, so that was actually pretty damn quick. Okay, so we got the key. Let's go the fuck back down. I think I'm going to leave this here. We are definitely far into chapter 5. Um, so, of course, I'm sorry we did not get to finish it this time. But there will be one more episode of Fran Bo. And, of course, please do not forget to watch out for that. And I will see your adorable faces in the next video.